The Invisible Man by H. G. Wells. And today we are on chapter number 12. Chapter number 12 is uh, another chapter, uh, probably uh, the last chapter out of those three connected chapters that we have been doing. Chapter number 10, 11 and chapter 12 related to one particular incident when Marvel has come to the village of Iping along with the invisible man to get back his stuff from the inn and what happens and how do people look at this incident various angles and the title of this chapter is the invisible man loses his temper well this is not something new the invisible man has been losing his temper all the time so let us see what happens now the character list there are there are many characters but the main characters who feature are Cass Bunting and the invisible man um, and when we discuss chapter number 12 I write this down again even if I have said this so many times that please remember what had happened in chapter 10 and 11 when you do chapter number 12 up till now just a brief revision up till now Marvel had gone into the parlor to steal the stuff of the invisible man in the parlor like we had done in chapter number 11 in the parlor they find cousin bunting studying trying to study rather the books of the invisible man he beats them up and takes away their clothes and his books so we had seen in chapter number 10 that huckster had seen a man who is Marvel running out of the inn with two things and what are those two things a blue bundle and uh, three books so he thinks that there is a robbery going on and he runs after this man only to be toppled over by an invisible force who is the invisible man and now we see this whole episode together if you remember when Cus and Bunting have been beaten up the door is locked from inside so in chapter number 12 we see that Mr. Hall and Teddy Henry, do you remember Teddy Henry? He is the character of the clock repairman who we had seen in a very earlier chapter and who had tried to talk to the stranger for the first time and he was treated very badly. So he hates the stranger already and he and Mr. Hall are very good friends. Mr. Hall and Teddy Henry are sitting at the bar of the inn when they hear some noises coming from the parlor so while the invisible man is beating up cousin bunting in the parlor outside mr and teddy henry uh, they hear these noises coming from the parlor they go and find the door of the parlor locked from inside 
and uh, you know they they cannot go inside to help both of these people because the door is locked from inside and they cannot even understand if they are talking to themselves or is if there is some somebody else uh, they cannot even imagine that the invis invisible man has come back to iping to get his stuff uh, while they are trying to hear outside the door mrs hall comes and she drives them away so she says what are you two doing over here you just go away from here and let cousin bunting do and try to understand from the books of uh, that invisible man the strange man drives them away and then what happens they cannot go inside but they see a man running and huckster shouting thief and running after him so inside they hear sounds and when they cannot help cousin bunting and they don't even know what is happening inside they are driven away by mrs hall and here they are outside the parlor and what do they see that huckster is running out uh, after some man who is this man this man is marvel we already know that marvel has been given the books and clothes of cousin bunting and they hear huckster shouting thief and running after that man and while they start to run in that direction of course they would run after that man also because he is a thief and so while they start to run in that direction they see huckster falling in mid air as if pushed by someone he falls as if he is pushed by someone but of course they cannot see anyone and what happens when uh, uh, this man teddy henry and mr hall reach there when teddy henry and mr hall reach towards huckster they are also pushed and hurt and they are also thrown to the ground they also meet the same fate because now the invisible man is there and he will not let anybody catch marvel because marvel has some precious possessions for the invisible man and there is total commotion and many villagers try to chase the thief but what do you think would have happened they are all thrown to the ground and now the invisible man is totally totally angry and he is beating up people as they are coming to chase marvel and he is